Hello and welcome to this channel. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about electrostatic lifters. And this is one that I just made um, with aluminum foil and with four with a cross uh, in the middle. It's made out of um, out of balsa wood, which I've kind of cut into fine strips, probably about that wide. And um, I have magnet wire, I've burnt the enamel off it and put it in that configuration. Only issue with this is that it still seemed a little bit too heavy. I was using regular baking foil and uh, that's probably added too much weight to it so I've been having a bit of trouble getting this one to fly. So I just made this one which has a uh, lighter foil. It actually uses a uh, thinner foil. You can get this foil off of lint chocolate bars. You can see that right there. Lint chocolate bars. It's very thin and um, balsa wood again, glued it together. I've got some burned magnet wire round around the top of it right there. And uh, I'll test this one in a minute to see if it does any better. Okay, I have the power supply. I have a 20 kilovolt uh, CW multiplier. And I've got the um, ionic lifter and it's uh, it's held down with some threads. I didn't want to make them too long because it tends to dart all over the place and there's a risk of getting electrocuted by it. So I've made the threads holding it down pretty short. The top wire is 20 kilovolts positive and the aluminum is, uh, is uh, that's ground and that's negative. And uh, we'll turn it on in just a sec. There it goes, it's flying. It's kind of moving all over the place. Seems to be seems to be flying pretty well though. Once it stabilizes, so there's a little bit of arc over. And I think the gap between the wire and the foil is just over two centimeters. why it's arcing. Pretty close to the breakdown point of the air at that voltage. I think once I get it stable, it goes really well. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching this video. Please come back if you want to see more like this.